Well, that's it. It's all over here. It's a 2-0 victory for the Jersey Bulls. Elliot, back-to-back -back wins here at Springfield. How tough a game was that today? Yeah, that was a physical encounter. Um, Abby were, were brilliant going forward. I thought, I thought they caused us a number of problems. You know, Ewan's made two absolutely unbelievable saves in that first half. And it's back-to-back -back games now where he's made big saves at big moments. And that, that's a testament to his character. He's obviously had some setbacks last year, but he's bounced back brilliantly at the start of this season. So, yeah, they're a good side. Delighted with that. I think that's probably our, our hard, hardest sport, three points, and you know, probably the best side we come up against. So, really good to get the win, keep the momentum going. We need it. The teams around us are winning. So, uh, it's an important one today. Eight games and about eight different back fours. Yeah. What's going on there? Yeah, well, there'll be a night for next week because Sammy's away. So, uh, yeah, look, we're struggling with injuries, clearly. But uh, credit again, Joe Kilshaw was my man the match. I thought, I thought, jumping in at the 11th hour, we did no training with him at right back. We were hoping Luke Campbell was going to be fit, but he didn't quite make it. Late fitness test on Thursday, and he hasn't quite made it. So, Joe's had to jump in at right back. Phenomenal again. Fraser Barlow, right winger, playing left back. Just looks so natural there. And then Kerry and Sutcliffe marshal us through again. And a testament to those four. Um, Ewan in goal as well, and then you know, the midfield three as well. We've worked so, so hard, and all the lads up front as well. Out of possession, we've really fought for each other, and I think that's the most pleasing bit of the last couple of performances. Well, the first half seemed to be possession, 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 and then, of course, just before the break, Miguel Cavallio steps up. Yeah, yeah, and it's actually a weird one because Migs, Migs got a bit of a roast in the half time. I thought he could have done a lot more out of possession. I thought he wasn't asking enough question, questions in possession either. And then he goes and sticks one in the, in the stanchion, so yeah, shows what I know. And the second one, a little bit of a gift for Lorne Bickley, but he was cool, he was calm and he was collected and he slots it home. Yeah, a little bit of a gift, but look, we're working hard up front to, to still be in areas to affect the game, right? Even though we're hanging on for a 1-0, Hindy picks up the ball and it's just that calmness and presence of mind just to, to slot it to Lorne. And, you know, Lorne's had a couple of chances, but then he's gone and sealed that one and thought those two linked up really well today. On another day, Lorne probably gets a couple. Um, so, yeah, really, really happy, obviously, that second goal against that bit of a cushion allowed us to get some subs into the game as well. And I just want to quickly mention around Jack Boyle that a long, long time out and not the first time he's had that injury either. So the mental fortitude that he's shown to get back in, it's the resilience that we need from the whole squad and I'm delighted that he's back out on the pitch. He's been a huge help to me and the coaching staff in this first couple of months. Um, and for him now to be back player, I think he's a really important player for us as we as we get up towards Christmas and certainly in the second half of the season once we get him up to speed. And you know, I'm really happy with that as much as I'm happy with the three points. And good to see the fruits of the youth coming through. A little bit of a late debut for Thomas Goncalves from the under-18s. Yeah, and he won't get a clearer remit, I don't think. Kick it, edit. So, um, yeah, delight for Tom. He's obviously had a great start in the FA Youth Cup. Uh, he had a good start for St Paul's as well. And you know, his coaching team speak highly of him at St Paul's. So he got the opportunity today. And I thought, as that aerial bombardment came in the last kind of five minutes, so I thought, this lad's pretty big. Let's get, let's get him in there. And you know, credit to him as well. He said he was a little bit nervous, but actually got himself on the end of a couple of long balls up front and, and just relieved a bit of pressure. And, and that shows you know, for our young lads that there will be opportunities. Will Yates, last time out, Tom Goncalves this, uh, this time out. And credit to all the local clubs, all of the, all of the coaching staff in both the Centre of Excellence previously, hopefully the Bulls Academy going forward, and the local clubs that have got these lads at this point to enable us to, to keep picking from such a strong squad. Well, two goals, three points and another victory. Well played today. Cheers, thank you.